class, uh, we are looking at Form 2 Mathematics. And our topic today is volume of a first run. So let us go to the example here. Calculate the volume of the first run drawn below. This is a first run. How do we calculate the volume of this solid? Of this solid? Lana, this first run is got from a cone. And therefore the first thing that you do is that you produce this line, you produce this other line so that you form the original cone. It's a matter of producing uh, the sides of the first run, these lines here. You produce them. You can produce them with a ruler like that. We also produce this other one like that so that we get the original cone from which the first run was obtained. So this is now the original cone. Volume of a first run learner Volume of a first run learner is got by finding the volume of the original cone and then you subtract the volume of the smaller cone. Volume of the original cone minus volume of the smaller cone. So this is volume of the original cone. Volume of the original cone, yes, minus volume of the small cone. Minus volume of the small cone. So learn. Volume of the original cone will be obtained using a third pi r squared height. We use capital letters for r and h because we are talking about the big cone. Then you subtract the volume of the small cone. Of the small cone. Yes? So you look at our formula here. What do we have and what don't we have? We don't have h here. We have r, which is 35. We don't have, we have r again there, but we don't have h. So again, learn, you now use linear scale factor to get h. Linear scale factor. You use linear scale factor. Similar triangles, that is. So you come here and you introduce your height, the small height. Come here and introduce your small height. Call it small h there. So using linear scale factor, we talk of small h, small h over capital H. This is your capital H from here to here. So we talk of small h over capital H, which is H plus 8. H plus 8 is equals to what? Which are the two corresponding signs? The ready. 28 over 35. 28 over 35. 28 over 35. Work out this line by 7, 4. By 7, uh, 5. You simplify. So, small h over h plus h should therefore give you 4 over 5. Yes? Cross multiply. Cross multiply this line. This will give you 5h is equal to what? Multiply this by 4. Multiply this by 4 gives you 4h plus 32. 4h plus 32. So you take this to the other side, you get 5h minus 4h is equals to 32. And therefore you subtract this, you get h is equals to 32 centimeters. That is your small h. What is your capital H? Your capital H is equals to small h, which you have already got as 32 plus 8. Small h, which is 32 plus 8. Small h plus 8. So your capital H is 
40 centimeters. Yes? From there now, we now go to the volume of our first run. So, how do we get the volume of our first run? So we come and say, the volume of our first run, the volume of our first run, is therefore equal to what? You come to your formula. A third times 22 over 7 times our radius, capital radius. Our capital radius is 35, the radius of the big cone. So 35 squared times our height, capital height is 40. Okay? Then you minus the volume of the smaller cone. Uh-huh. The radius of the smaller cone is 28. So 28 squared times the height, small height, small height, we got it as 32. We got it as 32. So using a calculator, you work out this learner. What will you get? Using a calculator, the first one here should give us 51,000. 333.33 to the nearest two decimal places. Then you subtract, you work out the other one with the calculator, you get 26,282.67 to the nearest uh, two decimal places. You subtract this, what would you get? You'd get uh, 25,050, 25,050.66 uh, centimeters cubed, centimeters cubed. Therefore, learn. go and practice on how to calculate uh, volume of a first run. Volume of a first run, yes, volume of such a solid. All the best. Thank you.